Hey, what's up everybody? This is Taco El Flaco. For th those of you watching this, I hope all you guys are doing great and well. Today, I'll be making for first time ever, first time, you hear that? My first YouTube video since opening my channel. So today's video is gonna be about my car, a little bit about my car, the car you guys seen me in here in San Diego. So come on, let me show you. So this is it, my 1984 Lincoln Town Car, and I'll give you guys a little history about the car. This is how I got the vehicle, the condition is it's now. I've done a little work to it, minor. Um, it's got a beautiful two-tone paint job. Not the most perfect since it has some rust here and there, but there it is. The most beautiful car of the 1980s, as you guys can see, I'm a big fan of Lincoln in the 1980s because Lincoln was, I can say was probably on top of Cadillac. A lot of, from what I know, from what I understand, a lot of Cadillac people moved on to Lincoln because of the rear wheel drive. All right, and I'll start with my favorite feature of the car, which is its beautiful turn signals. These turn signals light up at night. I can't show you guys right now because it's daytime. But yeah, these are beautiful. So beautiful. You guys can see the emblem, Lincoln emblem. And as we move on, it's beautiful chrome bumper. And as you guys can see, Lincoln did not want to stay behind with their branding on their car. But it just adds a detail of luxury and class. This is a low beam, high beam. It's beautiful chrome grill, which was, I'm guessing based off like a Rolls Royce model or something. It's hood ornament. As you guys can see, it was spring loaded and it's bumper guards, super long chrome bumper. It's other turn signal. As you guys can see my personalized plates, here, San Diego Lincoln, Taco Flaco, the one and only. And as we move on, you guys can see the details I was talking about. It's some rust on the hood. Other than that, it's pretty much in good condition. There's no rust other than this on the car. And one of the things that distinguishes this beautiful Lincoln from the 1980s, it's this very long hood. As you guys can see, I'm like basically stretching and hugging the, the hood. And as we move on, we got to talk about its famous turn signals as well as this one. And it also had this turn signal when you hit left or right, it would turn on. And whenever you stop blinking, it, it goes off. But there's a very nice future for the 1980s. And as you can see, more chrome. It's white walls you're gonna have white walls on the lincoln if not it doesn't make it a luxury vehicle it's beautiful turbine wheels which were very famous popular in the 1980s i think it was a aircraft design or something but yeah it's beautiful it's lincoln original lincoln hubcaps uh town car emblem and as we move on you guys can see more and more chrome chrome handle as you guys can see also lincoln chrome mirrors with this this is one actually one of my cool f favorite features too it's got a uh, external temperature gauge with the lincoln emblem as you guys can see super nice detail you guys can see a little lettering numbering on the on the edge of it and also one of the cool features about this car is the heated mirrors i didn't i didn't even know about this feature until recently but it's very cool and also one of the cute features in the 1980s for luxury vehicles, they also had a keyless entry. You guys can see the keyless pad in here. This one still works and I still ha I have the, the code to the door. It's very, very cool. Who would guess in the 1980s they had this? The chrome handle, this one at night, you're able to see when, when you hit the door open, you get a, a nice lighted entry. Very cool details. So this specific model, which was a Cygnus series, came with the half vinyl top with this nice opera lamps on the side, coach lamps, as they call them in that time. And with that, with this vinyl top, it's nice original emblem, signature series. And some also some minor rust around it because vinyl tops are known for that. It's a common thing to happen, but other than that, the rest of the vinyl top is in good condition. The paint on the trunk, as you guys can see, it's in good condition. 
with more detailing on the back a little more rust here in the on the trunk on the trunk lid lincoln emblem nice tail lamps also with the beautiful lincoln emblem inside it these turn on these don't these are just reflective lamps and how could you not forget the real nice detail on this key keyhole for the trunk with the lincoln emblem very nice details town car as you can see nice long chrome bumper with those reversed reverse lights flush into the into the bumper very nice detail and here's how you open the trunk you move this insert the key it's got to be the round key because a lot of people confuse it with the, these cars came with two keys square key and round key and there you go and as you can see it's a very huge trunk these cars were known as mop cars and as you can see you can fit many bodies in here if that was the case at that time uh, yeah so there it is it's spare tire with equipped with the original cover and there it is and it's got electric electric close motor this one doesn't work unfortunately but it's getting there we're gonna fix it it's gonna get fixed so there it is, the trunk. And as you can see, the most luxurious door trim. It's got its beautiful wood trim, chrome instrument panel. Um, everything works on it. The windows fully work. Everything works, everything operates. It's got door lock, electric door lock, power windows, power seats, power mirrors. Everything you can ask for. Luxury, chrome, fluffy carpet on the door, speakers, everything so beautiful. And it's beautiful seats. For, the, for those of you that ever got inside one of these cars, you know the feeling of when you sit on them. There's nothing compared to them. Like they say, a lot of people call these cars, they're sofas on wheels and you will know exactly why if you sat in these. As you can see, these are pillow tops with its original Lincoln embroidery on it. Very nice detail, very nice touch. Um, the lure, one of my favorites. I think I prefer it over leather. And yeah, there it is, I'm pretty much for the seat. And the dashboard, very nice steering wheel with wood trim around it. Also the, the center, um, it, it has its Lincoln emblem. And right here on the side, this is not the horn pan. These were located on the side of the car, on the side of the column. And if I press it, you guys can hear it. It's nice shifter, chrome shifter. So on this side of the panel, you, you can see here's a light, 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 uh, light instrument. I don't know how you call that. This to turn on the lights, uh, interior as exterior, uh, your your signal, anything goes bad here, it's like the brake, fasten seat belts, it's nice wood trim panel. There's an instrument cluster. This is all digital, uh, mileage, gas, and message center. As you can see here, also this part of the trip log and uh, kilometers miles per hour uh, your clock all beautiful detail uh, AC the, the AC currently doesn't work because I disconnected it I had it disconnected because I'm repairing the, the heater core but soon it's gonna start working and you can see the Lincoln logo here also so as you guys can see here all the beautiful wood trim with the Lincoln logo Lincoln town car which this is a car um the nice air vents the glove box and here if you guys don't know but this is a trunk release it only works when the vehicle is on you got your coin holder here i always carry coins in case i need them when in downtown area because 
you got parking meters so very important they carry coins and how could we forget the original premium sound stereo with the fully working cassette I listen to Mexican music but there it is very cool I love cassettes and yeah there it is pretty much for the for the dashboard itself super nice detailed dashboard I think one of the most luxurious ones as you can see very nice and how could you miss the boots snake boots so this is the rear rear passenger door it's handle nice chrome handle here very nice detail of, of the car wood trimming and as you can see how could you forget ashtrays back in the 1980s because that was a thing and these you gotta be very careful because these are very sensible to touch and you can break them and that's where the ashtray was located with this lighter and here you have the light the light switch for the right the right rear lighting in the back in case you need it and this is for the window all windows work on this car uh that was a, a very common thing for cars for these type of cars their windows would always go out but there it is it all works it still has its original tire size sticker the load range and the size of the tires uh here's all the information in case you needed it when you're buying new tires for the vehicle and yeah there there it is pretty much everything original untouched very nice rear you can see the seats the back part of the seats and wow now i'm sitting inside a car and I don't think I've sat many times back here, but sitting back here makes you feel like you're executive, you're somebody. And and yeah, a little bit about the seats. It's as you can see, it has its very nice pockets. Um, they're in very good condition. They're not stretched or anything. Uh, all velour with its handle. I don't know why they put a handle here, but yeah, it has a handle. And well, yeah, the carpet very clean, very soft to the touch. Uh, the seats back here are really really good condition no holes at all no burn spots nothing and also the back seats they also had the lincoln embroidery here this is original and how could you forget the cassettes my some of my cassettes these are all mexican music because that's what i listen to i also have american music which is rock uh classical frank sinatra um, but this is the one I currently have in my car and it's just classic, you know, it's you need it You need it here in the car because it comes with the character. It comes with the With the time as you can see some of the cassettes this I will a very famous singer from the late 80s 90s um, But yeah, there it is and Super cool All in good condition too with this carrying case uh yeah that's pretty much it and then the seat belts i don't know if a lot of people there's been people that sit in my car and they don't know how to operate the seat belts it's pretty easy and simple so you just press here and that will detach the seat belt from the clip or whatever you call it um but yeah they're super clean you can tell like they've hardly been used and now we're gonna move on to the roof um the roof as you guys can see it's oh, falling off the, the ceiling it was a very common thing for these cars as the material they used wasn't as good but yeah pretty much that's it and then you got your lighting these lights we had two lights on the front and then the center light these were if you need a personal light fully working too and also these personal handles in case the car made any sharp turns these were to grab on very cool so there you have your clothes hanger uh, why because well you were executive when you were driving this car you carry your, your coat on a hanger and also you got your rear light as i mentioned earlier on the door panel that button that you have on the side door um that was to hit the light right there in case you were reading a book or anything personal like you need the light there it was very nice details.
here earlier i forgot to mention but the window it was a certain style I've, from what i know it's like a limo type of window um it's not a full size open window but it was more like closed and closed which i really like a lot it gives it a very nice touch executive touch okay guys so that's pretty much it for today's video um i know i forgot to say a lot of things about the car but you guys can always leave a comment and let me know what you guys want me to talk about also if you guys want to try these seats uh i'll be making a maybe a poll or something like a vote and for anyone that's here locally in san diego because that's where i'm at i can't take the car very far but we'll leave a poll and if you guys want to ride and try these seats so you guys can try for yourself um i'll be picking out a random person here from san diego or maybe LA area to come and ride with me for one day for a couple hours not one whole day because it's 24 hours but a couple hours um, yeah so make sure to go like and subscribe and follow me on social media this is uh, my channel Taco El Flaco my Instagram is Taco El Flaco that's where I post more videos and also my channel is not gonna be just about cars it's gonna be about my my outfits too because that's what people follow me for the most. And I'm gonna be explaining a little bit about my outfits in other videos, where I get them or what, how I get them done, customized and what I wear, the boots, the skins or anything I wear on it, you know? But yeah, stay tuned and thank you so much for watching and much love for everybody.